My advice to anyone that's want to get their first tattoo, don't go to Vegas and get it whenever you're drunk or high off of bars and stuff like that. Not, I don't take bars or nothing like that. I do drink though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come in there, flex. I was born in New Orleans, but I lived in Houston since 1998. I'm a big Houston fan. I love everything Houston. This is the Texan tattoo. This is the last tattoo I got. Speaking of Houston, I found out that, that you saved like 100 people or something in your truck during the hurricane. Yes, because um, I got a 12 inch lift. Um, so the bottom of the truck probably like right here. So I went out and tried to help people as much as I could just because my TV wasn't working. So I was bored at home. We couldn't go nowhere, traffic, flooding everywhere. We couldn't go anywhere. So I just went out and tried to um, help as many people as I could. My first tattoo that I ever got was a cross of my mom on my arm. I got it covered up and got a gorilla on this side and a gorilla on this side as well. I trained at a gym called Silverback. Gorilla is one of my favorite animals, so I wanted to always be a gorilla. That's the reason why I pound on my chest, slam on the ground, and stuff like that in celebration. Where did you get them done? Um, I got most of all of my tattoos done in prison. What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, really. They did it with um, one of the exit signs. Use the electricity for an exit sign. Forgot what else to use with an ink pen. Just respect and loyalty. That's what I live by. I want everyone to treat me with respect and just to know that I'm a loyalty guy. I got one on my neck. It used to be um, Black Beast right here. I got it covered up and put the owl there. Wow. It is, I'm more of a wise man than I was before. Lord knows. Of course, it's somewhat religious, but um, Lord knows what I would do to you with these hands. You know, that's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Knockout King. Knockout King right here. The crown and boxing gloves and hard times. This is whenever I had a six pack, so I had to put hard times because, you know, six pack hard. Um, you get it, right? That's all I've been through in my whole life in hard times, and I guess you could say that I finally got over all the hard times whenever I became a UFC fighter. I think fighting has taught me a lot of respect, you know, for others. I got out of prison in 2008. I started fighting MMA in 2009. One of my friends had introduced him to MMA because he knew I liked to fight all the time in the streets. He told me to go to this gym. So I started training, then three months later, I got my first MMA amateur fight. Did you ever get another tattoo? Um, my wife been bothering me by getting her name. We've been married for two years now, but we've been together for 11 years. I haven't got her name yet, so she bothers me about that all the time. I might get a name under my foot, something like that, but she didn't tell me where to get it, so I might get it under my foot. You know, I'm really too dark anyways to walk around with tattoos, you know, so I'm just wasting money. <laughs> <laughs>